You are now in the zone. With Taste Test Live. Hosted by Damien Lamar and Blue Francois. Hey, what's Jazzin? Plus Jazzin. Hey. <laughs> Welcome to Taste Test Live. Uh, my name is Damian Lamar. I'm the host of the new music program, Taste Test, on WJCT 89.9 in Jacksonville. Taste Test is a weekly one-hour-long music show, and it airs on Sunday nights at 10 Eastern and Tuesday nights at 11. And I'm joining, as always, with my co-host and amazing photographer, fellow music connoisseur, and a really good friend of mine, Mr. Blue Francois. Welcome back one more time. I am here in the flesh. Yes, welcome. <laughs> Glad you're doing well, man. Yes. What's jazzing? Hey, nothing but jazz. <laughs> <laughs> What's jazz? That's so funny to me. <laughs> well, we, we have quite a bit on board for you to taste tonight, and I hope you will enjoy what's mm. coming up. In addition to our weekly music digestion, the commentary and the new segment, Put This in Your Mouth, we have a yes. special guest in the studio with us today, the Balance King. Yes. Honored to be here. Yeah. Glad to, glad to have you. Um, you're, you're a bit of an enigma. Um, I've, I've seen you and I've, I've, had, I've had the privilege of actually seeing you do your magic and your, your uh, balancing live mm-hmm. at the Yellow House Yeah, here in Jacksonville. Yeah. So um, um, you're definitely a fan. Thank you for, for spending your time here in, in Taste Test Live Studios. Thank tonight. you for having me. Blue, can you um, give a, a quick moment and tell our, our first time listeners who may or may not know what Taste Test Live is, what it is, and what they can actually expect over the next hour? Yes, Taste Test Live is your weekly conversational podcast where we recap uh, Damien's Lamar hand curated playlist from his radio show, Taste Test um, Plus. Our podcast highlights the latest, um, what's happening in music. Um, newsmakers of the week and we're also going to be bringing you in-depth conversations with guest interviews and exclusive tracks and we might even feature hot singles from Damien Lamar every now and then every now and then not this week this week is about the balance king (laughs) oh yeah the balance king yes (laughs) that's right Um, so I'm going to quickly dive right into the show because we got quite a bit to cover today Um, let's do a quick recap of what I played on Sunday night show it was one of my favorites not mines, but I, I there was a few good, you few, know, a few good selections. Hit, hit, hit a quitters, yeah, and <laughs> wow, that's, that's a first. Okay, <laughs> yeah, it was a few hit a quitters. The reason it's called taste test is because I, I envision it as a sampling. So imagine, if you will, people walking into a space and there is this table set of lots of different music, or you know, in, in some cases it would be food. In this case, it would be music. So about fifteen, sixteen different selections. You go in. Brandy and Ray J? Yeah, Brandy and Ray J. We'll, we'll, we'll get to Oh, that. I'm sorry. Oops. Yeah, we'll, we'll, <laughs> I was going to we'll, say, is that an ent- uh, entree or the appetizer? That was a little bit of an appetizer. Okay, okay, gotcha. Yeah. All right. And, and I, I think if we had them here to explain that, they would probably say it was an appetizer because they know it was. <laughs> it was a good appetizer, though. Oh, yeah, I liked it, yeah. Yeah, because, yeah. We, yeah. All right, we'll talk about it. Um, but the, the, whole, the whole premise of Taste Test Live or Taste Test on the radio specifically is to, to offer samplings of different music for people to enjoy. Everybody's not going to like everything that's played um, or every song, but they're going to walk away going, oh my God, what was that? I enjoyed tasting that. And I'm going to download it and go to YouTube and look, watch the video or, or whatever they want to do. And um, that's the, the, the point of the show specifically. Um, so it was episode 40 and I titled it City Flavor because it had a lot of um, city grit. It was very urban in my, in, in my definition of urban. And kicked off side A of the show with 1993. Went back in time with Tevin Campbell. Can we talk? Can we talk? Yeah. For a moment. You know it was written by uh, Quincy Jones. Of course. Okay. But speaking of Quincy Jones, have you seen the documentary on Netflix? No, I heard about it. I heard. I read the reviews. And? Uh, I, I want to see it. What about you? The I haven't King. seen it yet, but I would like to. Yeah, it's it's on Netflix. So at, at your, at, I heard everybody that watched it said it was amazing. Quincy yeah. Jones talked about Michael Jackson, him working. Yeah, in, wow, I didn't know he was so involved in Michael Jackson's career. Yeah, worked with Prince. I mean, he worked with some of the greats. You know, so. Yeah, there was there's one I I haven't seen it myself, but I understand there's one one person said you know they wanted to have a meeting. He wanted to have some type of dinner, and they're like, who do you, who would I call? He says, mm, I think I'll call Oprah. I'm gonna call John Legend. You know, and everybody that he calls and he invites, they show up. I mean, because it's Quincy Jones. Right, right, right. So, yeah. 
Um, so oh, some juicy stuff on there too, by the way, about his oh. uh, lifestyle. Really? Yeah, but oh. I think that was more in the book. Uh, but uh, I think they mentioned some of the stuff in there about his little lifestyle that he had, his little undercover lifestyle. So okay, so that's why I wanted to. Um, that's why I wasn't, you know. But anyway, it's it's part of my weekend viewing. Yeah, you gotta yeah, check it out. I'm on Netflix yeah. and chill yeah. on yeah. Friday or I'll Saturday. Have to put that on the list for this week. Yeah, Crazy absolutely. Jones. Um, so after after I played Tevin Campbell, uh, I had the dubious honor and the privilege of playing Emily King, her newest single, ah. "Remind Me." Man, that's a, an amazing song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's an amazing song. Yeah. Um, Emily King hails from New York City. Mm-hmm. She's one of my favorite vocalists. Um, I had the privilege of actually seeing her live once when she dropped her uh, EP mm. called Seven. Mm. And um, she, perf- when I fell in love with her, she did the song called Georgia. And that was it. Yeah. And so she did this EP and, you know, from my understanding, she was signed to Jive Records and Clive Davis, or I can't say Clive did it, but Jive Records dropped right, her. Right, right, right. Dropped yeah. her. She, she got dropped, mm. and she then became an independent artist, and she's doing yeah, she's very doing well. well for herself. Yeah, she's doing yeah. well, yeah. Um, so after, after Emily King uh, did the weekly pairing, and the mm-hmm. pairing, of course, is taking two particular songs by the same artist, putting them together as if you would do wine or cheese, you know, cheese yeah. and wine. Yeah. And uh, it was Indy Ari. With her new single, That Magic. Yeah. Um, I love that song. I like it. And I like the message behind the song. She said that she's never had a man to open up all her doors. Uh. And that's what the song's about. Uh. He's got that magic. Uh. So having all your doors open, yeah. you know, uh. I, don't yeah. know she ha- I wonder how many doors she has. <laughs> Too many women have that experience, I think. With with doors? With not having all their doors open. Oh. Uh. Mm. Yeah, fellas, we yeah. got to work on that. Exactly, yes. we need to know all the keys, you know, all the all the doors yeah. that haven't been opened in years that are that have cobwebs on the holes. Yeah, <laughs> men men got to step their game up. Have to. Yeah, have to. So uh, that magic, a lot of men need that magic. Um, and then right after play that magic, then one of my favorite songs um, was "This Love" yeah. from her Songversation album. Yeah. Um, my favorite yeah. this, man I mean her vocals she showed her range yeah, she showed her favorite. versatility as an artist yeah. that that particular I'm not you know now that I'm talking about NDRE maybe you guys know how to find it but when the album first came out when Song Versation first came out in 2013 mm-hmm. there was a snippet or actually a, a full song called Strange Fruit from um, Bill, Indi- Billy, Billy Holiday Billy Holiday yes. okay she remade Strange Fruit, and I have not been able to find it since. Wow. It, it was on. Wow. The, yeah, it's it's not available anywhere. It's in the line. Maybe you can, they pulled you can it. search. Yeah, they probably pulled it. That's that's a live. Okay, so. The live our, version. Our, our production assistant, Autumn, is showing me a, a, an actual a version. of it. It's a live version, but that's not the song that was on the studio version of the album. I have scoured the internet, and I have not been able to find it. So what, ver- so what is that? That is a performance of her just play, playing live. It's not the same. It's oh. it's, it's it's completely different version. Oh wow! Um, although it's good, it's not the version from the album. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Um, I really wish that if anybody, as a matter of fact, if you if you're listening and you you have that album, you know, call me, email me, tweet me, write me, slide in my DMs. <laughs> <laughs> I need me some Strange Fruit by Ndiaye. All right. Um, and right after, after of course, our, our pairing, I played music from Terrace Martin, mm-hmm. his song called Getaway. Um, I, I, I like always revisiting Terrace because Terrace is from Crenshaw, mm-hmm. the Crenshaw area of L.A. And I had the privilege of actually experiencing that on the way to Chinatown when I was in L.A. And I was right. like, oh, my God, there's Valdez off Crenshaw. OK, yeah. I get it. I get it now. So I, I get the area. I didn't spend a lot of time in that neighborhood, but. I love Terrace Martin. I love the the sax. I like his the the ambiance of what he does. Then segue right into James Tillman's song "Wander," mm-hmm. and the highlight of the week for me is um, a a song by Zap Mama. Zap Mama. Um, Zap Mama came out in the '90s, and it was actually a, a quartet of women. And they Zap Mama. Uh, it, if you haven't heard her, she is the female human beatbox, like Rozelle was to the legendary Roots crew when he was with the Roots. She's the female version. So her new album is called Eclectic Breath. It's supposed to be coming out this fall. And she is going to be performing the album and she will be 
beatboxing. Like she would be DJing with her vocals. She is wow. an amazing vocalist. She's a vocal teacher. Um, she's a poly a poly, po- polyphonic singer. Mm-hmm. She she does lots of different things. Um, I had the privilege of seeing her on tour with Erica Badu when Erica did her Frustrated Artist tour oh, wow. back in 2013, 20, yeah. 2003. And um, that was bananas it was bananas and i saw a different side of performance from erica that you normally don't see See, yeah erica she you know the congo of africa came out of erica and then she put zap bomba on her record you can hear her there and then she did a a bandy bandy so if you're digging through the crates go back and listen to ancestry and progress yeah Yeah. like Like bandy bandy wave your body you know it's a it's and, and, and the re- the dance remix is amazing as well. So highly recommend listening to Zap Mama. Her song is called Pick Me Up. That was her leading single from her Eclectic Breath album. And then I had to do the traditional nod to the Carter- Carters. I just had to. I yeah, I saw that. interjected them in my mix for the first time. That was the first time ever playing Beyonce and Jay-Z together. And I played Summer because I'm ready for it to be over. <laughs> I'm ready for this hot Floridian humidity to be gone it is officially october as a matter of fact it's like october 10th for you guys that are listening now it's still hot um so summer and then ended side a with little dragon little dragon cat rider from the nabumo rubber band album Mm -hmm. that's one of my man that that track is sick man it's so sick yeah that bass line is everything and you know and nakimi you got you got me you got no i'm completely butchering her name right now she has such a way of eloquently understating her vocals yeah wow. and um it's just a good album side b i started with edible high from brandy and ray j they, i miss they, brandy i do too she's um i saw as a matter of fact there is a um youtube video 702 concert 702 brandy and i think drew hill Mm. Went on a tour together, and that whole concert is online. Oh wow! And, I look and it up. Brandy should have. I mean, Brandy, she smashed it. Wow, I she she was amazing. Um, I I enjoy her. Um, I would really like to see more of a band performing with her. Um, I would really like to see them capture yeah. all that great music live. Um, I know she performs a lot with tracks, and she uses drums along with mm-hmm. the live track. But it's something about having that live, you know, that live feeling. Um, then uh, I played Skip Marley. Skip yeah. is um, Bob Marley's grandson and the son of Sadella Marley. Yeah, he's very talented. And he remade Bob Marley's son, Johnny Was. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Johnny was a good man. Oh. Yeah, he's very talented. Great acoustic version of it. You can find it on YouTube. Um, really amazing. And then I had to end the show way up high in the high frequency range with Cool and the Gang. Talented band. Back to summer again. More summer madness. Um, very high frequency. It's I played an extended version. And uh, yeah, I, I got a lot of text messages. Yeah. Everybody was happy. And I'm yeah. sure somebody was lighting it up. Yeah. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. Um, so it, it, was a, it was one of my favorite shows. Um, yeah. There's more to come. There's more to come. So let's go ahead and jump to our next segment. Put it in your mouth. Man, why I got to say that? It's actually, put this in your mouth. (laughs) (laughs) I'm so sorry, (laughs) y'all. Every week I joke, I sing, or do something crazy. A couple of shows back, for those of you who haven't heard the podcast before, go back like two, two or three shows. You'll hear one of our guests when this was invented. And, you know, it's put this in your mouth. You know, it's like if you were tasting something, we want you to put it in your mouth. You know, I like I like being sexual and providing a little sexual in your windows without being, without <laughs> oh saying. I mean, food is very sensual by nature, you know. Yeah, yeah. I, I t- describe the delicacy of food to you, Mr. Balance King. Mm. I mean, food is food gives life. You know, food food where our food comes from is a fundamental element of how we organize our structure, how we care for one another. It's, you know, let food be your medicine. Mm -hmm. Um, Food engages all your senses. You know, you you hear it when you're cooking it. Your sight, your smell, your taste, your yes. touch. So, Whoa. I mean, yeah. you think about it, it's a it's a totally multi sensory experience. Okay, now translate yeah. that, if you will, mm-hmm. to music, using those same words. 
Mm. 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 I mean, music is is really the same thing because you know when when you hear different sounds, they evoke the same kind of memories, and they can even evoke smells, tastes. Yes. You know, sights and sounds.、Um, Truth. Yeah, and because because music music is to the soul what food is to the body. Come on now, come on. Yeah. Man, you preaching today? That's, Every day. That's, that's, a that's good why、word. they call him the Balance King. Yeah. Literally balancing my right, right and left brain hemispheres right now. I love、yep. it. So I like how the that's and that's the whole reason I you, I use pairing and I say have a taste and、um, you know、uh, segments of deliciousness. I always use those references in the show because、mm-hmm. music to me is、yeah. food. I mean, music is life to me. You know, I, I love music. I couldn't、Absolutely. imagine being on a planet that music did not exist. I, you know, frankly, I don't I just, think that'd be possible because everything is vibration. Music is a form of vibration. So right. I mean, it would be a, a vibrationless world, which is non-existence. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. I love it. So put this in your mouth. It's a new series or new segment in as part of Taste Test Live where we do music digestion, and I don't want to call it critique or、uh, discussion. I, discussion is just such an old word. I like digesting music. So we're gonna digest all the things that happen in the in the week. Um, that that could be anything from new releases. It could be anything from,、uh, you know, the news. What's what's happening? You know, somebody hurting themselves, like Childish Gambino. Yeah, <laughs> he had to postpone his tour. Yeah,、uh, he had a foot injury,、um, so he's going to be postponing it.、Um, I think a few people bought some tickets, so I think they're going to refund.、Uh, but、um, that's going to be an amazing tour that he put together. A lot of his friends,、um, you know, so he's going to.、Um, Postpone it, but after he heals, he's gonna get back on it because I think a lot of people was expecting that tour. And and hopefully he'll be able to put some new music out. Oh yeah, yeah, he's、yeah. definitely、um, working on music、yeah. all the time. So speaking of which, have you guys heard his summer pack? Oh、uh, yeah, I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I like. I actually yeah. like it. You have a、yeah. favorite? I like the video. Yeah, I do too. The、uh, animated one. Yeah. Yeah, I like the animated. Yeah. Yeah. What, what do you think? I think it's brilliant. I think I think Childish Gambino is he's on fire and、yeah. he has been for a long time, but. He's at that point in his career right now where it everything is just opening up.、Yeah. He's just in the zone so much.、Um, I just you know he really inspires me a lot. Every everything that he does, and he, he you know he's so versatile too. Yes, so, yeah, he can sing, he can rap, he can produce,、yeah. write, direct.、Yeah. You know, Mr. Perkins. You know anything about Mr. Perkins?、Um, from the、uh, sh- his show from Atlanta on、uh, FX. Don- yeah, I've yeah, only yeah. seen the first season. I haven't seen. Oh yeah, man! But it's you, a brilliant show. You、right? must do yourself a favor、yeah. and watch the show. Yeah, you must. It's、yeah. it's it's hilarious. But there's one episode called Mr. Perkins,、uh, and. Yeah, you gotta watch the it. The parallels the life of Michael Jackson. Gotcha,、like、Michael. Yeah, Wait, did in、yeah. his weirdness. Was that the character he showed up to? Yes. The yeah. award. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, but it wasn't him because he wasn't. In, he was completely as childish Gambino. There was、okay. somebody else that. Yeah, was I was up confused about that too. I didn't、okay. understand that, but yeah, because I don't think he wants everybody to think that he's Mr. Perkins. So, yeah. yeah. But I know better. Yeah, I, I was I was confused <laughs> so. So yeah,、uh, I hope he gets well. I mean, a,、yeah. foot, a foot injury yeah, before just, yeah. an, an American tour, before you、yeah. kick out on a tour, that's like not because he has to do that dance.、Yeah. That's what they want to see. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, the, this is America dance. Yeah. Okay.、Yeah. You, you got to have your foot intact. Absolutely. <laughs> so、um, what else, Blue?、Uh, Maxwell has announced a new album titled Night.、Um, it's going to be due probably sometime this year.、Uh, no, next year. And、um, he released a single called Shame. And、um, it also、um, his voice and the song erratic backbeat are su-、uh, subsumed in a pool of echo. So it's real dark electric kind of music.、Yeah. Now,、um, Pitchfork had did an interview and he was describing the music and he said that shame is a modern love song, not just a romantic love, but love for self and other. Social media has created an alternate world where people watch everything you do, including your failures. So,、uh, so check、true. out. So shame shame was actually released October fifth. Um, but it's going to be off his、um, album night, so it's going to be pretty. Yeah.、Cool. So, it, and if you are listening to the podcast now, and、um, it, it would actually be on the show、um, next week. As a matter of fact, this this coming Sunday. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna are you gonna?、Something. Okay. Okay.、Yeah. Good. Got it in the lineup already. So、uh, the American Music Awards airs on、uh, tonight, October ninth. Yeah. For those of you who are hearing it today on the tenth, it came on last night. Do us a favor and comment about what your favorite part was. But、um, Tracy Ellis Ross. Is a host again and、yeah. the executive producer. Yeah, she is.、Mm-hmm. 
So I am, uh, you know, Drake and Cardi B are tied for first place um, with eight nominations apiece. And and this year's list, I'm just going to go over the artist of the year and the new artist of the year. But uh, this year is going to be Drake, uh, Imagine Dragons, woohoo! Post Malone, Ed Sheeran, Taylor Swift, no Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> uh, new artist of the year will be uh, Camila Cabello, um, Cardi B, Khalid, woo, and Dua Lipa. La Lipa. Wait. Let's do a Lipa. Yeah, yeah. Lipa, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, X, and then um, rest in peace, um, XX Tentacion uh, is going to be the new artist of the year. So, y'all tune in tonight. Um, I think it's going to be coming on at 8, 8 p.m. Is it 8? No, I think it's 9. Anyway, eight and, uh, 9, uh, eight, 9 p.m. each of standard time. But anyway, it's going to be on tonight. <laughs> oh, one last thing. One yes, last thing. Yeah. Um, Kim Kardashian mm-hmm. West releases the date of when they're going to show Kanye's new video Yandi. I thought you might like that since you don't like Kanye. Yandi. No, it's not I don't like Kanye. Huh? Um I just don't like to put him in my mouth. He's going to be releasing his video to Yandi. <laughs> Yandi. He's making a res- uh, Yandi as in Yeezy and Gandhi. Yes. Cuz because the first one was Yeezy and Jesus. So it was Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Next thing he'll be releasing Yad, <laughs> which is a, a Hebrew word. Because he's a god. He's god of music. I'm glad you think so. No, I no, I'm just messing with you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just trying to I'm just trying to uh jolt your vibration. <laughs> it's not gonna work. <laughs> jolt it. No, there's no jolt necessary. Kanye's um, the goat. Maybe you're so, trying to yolt it. So Oh yolt. yolt. <laughs> And that's it. That's for <laughs> Put this in your mouth. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to take a quick break and we're going to come back because I'm, I'm really anxious to learn more about our guest, The Balance yes. King, right here on Taste Test Live. That worked though, y'all play it. Oh, my chakras are lying now. Welcome back to Taste Test Live. That's so yes. exquisite. The key of C. Yeah, that's that's an amazing key. Now, did you know that the key of A, uh-huh. if you take a, a tuning fork in right. the key of A, it can actually literally vibrate all the mucus out of your body? No. Yes. If you have a head cold, get somebody with some tuning forks. Bing. Oh, OK. I'm going to try that. And f- do it from the crown of your head to the, your feet and your, your mucus will just magically disappear. It's amazing. Wow. I learned that from someone. That's powerful. Wow. Yeah. I'm going to try that next time I get stuffed yeah. up. Yeah. 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 You should. Yeah. Yeah. Let somebody let's let a really wise sage and a healer do that. Yeah. Yeah. So we're back here at Taste Test Live. We're live in the studio, Studio Three. And um it's it's a pleasure to um to hear your music. We just heard a little bit of a snippet of Anderson Pack. Mm. Yeah. What what song was that? Bubbling. Yes, bubbling. Yeah. That's the, the song with all the dollars everywhere, oh, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah. The video is amazing. Yeah. It, it really is. It's a great. It's a great. It's a great album. Um, so, um, by all means, let me go ahead and just do a quick introduction for those of you who don't know who the Balance King is. The Balance King actually molds songs in the shape of memories. Mm. The Balance King is unknown as you and me, and yet familiar. And the Balance King is here to keep your heart on the dance floor. Wow, that's amazing, man. That's a that's a big that's a big feat. So, how do you do that? Well. I'm going to go back to something you said earlier by tapping into the truth. You know, I tap into the truth in music. I tap into the truth of humanity. You know, uh, to me, it's about recognizing the truth of where all of this music comes from. So recognizing the truth of the black origins of humanity, the black origins of most popular music, of tribal rhythms, of dance rhythms and dance forms and melodies, indigenous art forms. You know, as in my own journey, as I have learned more about music, you know, that has led me back to that place. And so for me, it's about honoring that and recognizing that in action and deed. 
And, you know, not just word, but that's part of it, but action and deed primarily. So, you know, I think that truth resonates with people. Yeah. You know, and it comes through in the music and the curation, the selection, how it's put together, both, you know, whether I'm putting a mix together of other people's music or making my own music. So how did you get started um, with with curating and being so carefully, you know, carefully selecting the music? How did you get started with that? For this mix specifically or just in general, take us back. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, it's, it's been, it's been a lifelong journey because growing up, you know, I'm, I grew up in a very kind of a a vacuum of music and culture, I would say, Mm. um, as I got older, but I played music from, from childhood. And as I got older, I began to discover more things and, you know, I would meet various people in the course of my life who would teach me things that I was missing from my understanding as a child from growing up. You know, some people grow up, for instance, you know, listening to various popular music, you know, so it's kind of embedded in their childhood. For me, that was not really the case. Mm -hmm. Um, So it's been kind of a reverse chronological journey, I guess you could say. Um, A lot of the most recent growth and evolution has really been because of my relationship with Zage, uh, as he has helped me kind of flesh out things. I mean, a lot of it has just been as I have grown as an artist and played things and and then discovered where they come from. I'm like, Oh wow. Well, well, what influenced that? You know, what influenced that? And so it's just kind of this tree that grows outward. And so you mentioned Zach, Zach Johnson. Yeah, Zach Johnson. Yeah. What, what, tell tell us about Zach for people who don't know who he Zach. is. Zach. Yeah, yeah. Zach is uh, you know he he's an enigma <laughs> in and of himself. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, Zach is is a wonderful human being. Um, we we got to know each other last year. I was working on sound design and scoring for sentences at Players by the Sea, and Zach with his company Motif was actually doing st- um, stage design for okay. the play. It's an awesome awesome play. Um, about the director, both the directors experience one director, his mom, her story of having gone, gone to a, a penitentiary in Tallahassee. And then also the other director's experience with the, uh, um, just criminal, criminal justice system. Mm-hmm. And so they, they put that into the story. It's kind of, you know, like an orange is the new black type thing, but I would say more real, less soap opera. Mm-hmm. Um, so from that, we kind of ended up in each other's circles. And, you know, I would see him posting on things on Facebook about, <laughs> yeah, you know, posting about black rep- reparative economics and justice and about imperialism and, you know, anti-colonialism work. And I was like, I need to, I need to know this guy. Yeah. I, we, I need, we, we need to talk. Yeah, I, yeah, 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 we, yeah. we need to talk. So, yeah. you know, we, I just started sending him some messages. He was in Austin at the time. And, you know, we developed a relationship. And then when he came back here, we uh, we started working together and, you know, we've been working together in in a a ton of capacities, Mm -hmm. Um, many different, you know, design, music. We're making our own music. Uh, You know, everything that I do curatorially, he has a hand in. Right. Um, You know, so our our relationship has just blossomed and flourished. Yeah. How did you get the name uh, The Balance King? He came up with that actually. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So he just said, You're gonna be the balance king from now on. <laughs> yep. You lying. No. Not at all. And and you, you liked it. You took to it. Yeah. It, totally. it became you. Yeah. Well, you know, Zach has a knack for uh getting to the seed of a of a thing. You know, I, I I say to many people that I know, you know, to me, I see in him the same kind of spirit that was in Malcolm X, James Baldwin you know, many great oracles and and prophets who spoke to black liberation and black revolution. And, you know, and that's what drew me to him because Mm. I had, I had come to that place through my own journey Mm. uh, and, and through music really specifically through, you know, discovering artists like Fela Kuti and and other artists who really just continue to open up my mind and my soul and my world. And so, um, you know, he, he just, he has a real gift for, for that, for getting to the, to the seed of a thing. Wow. The Balance King. The yeah. Balance King. And he, he really does. Um, I, I too, am a friend of, of his age and had the yeah. privilege of meeting him through my work at Hemming Park. Right. Um, I think when I first met him, my, my face was to the grind. <laughs> that one particular day he came in, I was like, hey, wave. And, you know, we, and then we reconnected some years later. Yeah. And um, just 
an amazing human being that that literally makes you think and that 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 pushes you he he pushes people to to the, the edge of their thinking absolutely and i, yeah. I like i like that and I, I think with 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 your the title of who you are um and what you represent the balance king that title tell us a little bit why in your music your music curation you're doing your live dj sets mm. what goes on in your mind what are you thinking well, balancing is central to all of it. I'm going I'm to take it outside of the context of music here for a minute because the reason why he chose the name The Balance King, and, and this applies to the music and to the curatorial aspect, mm-hmm. is because of who I am outside of that. I mean, mm-hmm. Music, music is, is a, a channel and a representation of that. Yes. But, you know, it, it's, it's kind of the confluence of my whole life into that. So... Over my whole life, you know, I've been, I mean, you talked a little bit about music, you know, I've, I grew up playing piano classically as a child and I played trumpet in high school, marching band, jazz band, did those kinds of things. And I, you know, I did music in college, but also I was really into science. Um, you know, I ended up getting a degree in chemistry. You know, I worked at Mayo for almost 10 years in a, in a neuroscience lab in Alzheimer's research. So, so you're, you're a mad scientist, really. Pretty mm. much, yeah. I mean, yeah. you know, right, right and left brain, you know, so I've always had the music. I've always had the science. I've always been both. And, and to me, it's about balancing it out, you know, you, not being too much in one or the other. And I think, you know, with, it, with everything we do, we have, to, we have to find balance because when you go too much one way or the other, it becomes destructive. Life is about finding balance. Yeah, and harmony. And harmony, exactly, yeah. right? So, I mean, that's what harmony is, really. It's, it's a harmony is balance and action. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. so my my musical application is really that in that particular field. You mm-hmm. know, it's it's my life in a creative expression, but I try to apply that paradigm to everything I do. That's that's beautiful. That's beautiful. So um, you've it's my understanding you've actually done some work at the Yellow House, and the Yellow House is. Yeah. And, and this is my interpretation, and it could be completely wrong, but the way I interpret it is that <laughs> there, it's, there was a need for the Yellow House. Totally. Um, to, to have artistic expression from a local perspective curated in such a way that, that highlights the artist, that highlights the mm-hmm. art. Right. And um, I've, I had the privilege of attending a, uh, an event called Every Single Artist Lounge, which actually happened on Tuesday night. Mm-hmm. And, um, and you were there, um, spinning. Yeah. And, and I had the chance to see you. I was like, okay, this guy is really interesting. And I love the music he's playing. Awesome. Just the, 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 the songs that you, you picked, you were very familiar to me. Mm-hmm. Um, there were songs that I knew, but then there were songs that I didn't know, but they were like, okay, I would have put that after that song. That's perfect. You know? <laughs> yeah. And, and, and it seemed like everybody was in a good mood and a good space. Right. You had the privilege back in July of uh, curating an entire four hour set right. for Aaron Kendrick, who is another mm. artist, an amazing artist. Yeah. Just doing amazing oh things. God. And she's that going exhibit. leaps and bounds. Right. Can you tell us about that experience? I mean, it was wonderful. Um, you know, so, so to tie this in a little bit, uh, Zaych is the creative catalyst at, at Yellow House. Mm-hmm. So he's very involved oh, in the process wow. there. I mean, okay. yeah, he's, he is Hope's. Uh, right hand if you're hope right, with math right. she was mm. the director of the comer and then started yellow house mm. um so he had you know talked to aaron about a dj for the event and uh you know he came back to me and said hey you know uh, we have this event and she wants it to really celebrate black resilience black excellence you know she's telling her story um you know through that portal actually that was the first time i heard uh intozake shange Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and, wow. and yeah, and I actually, you know, in the beginning of the set, I mixed a little bit of some audio readings of her choreo poems <sighs> into the beginning of the set. Nice. Um, you know, which is just really powerful, amazing stuff. And I, I feel like Erin did such a great job of yeah. capturing that through her own, through her own personal work. lens. Right. Yeah. So, you know, it was a combination. Zach and I worked together, um, you know, over, over weeks curating the list and putting it together to to serve Aaron's wishes for the exhibit to make it both, you know, a, a, a retrospective and an introspective celebration of where 
blackness has come from in America, where it is now, where it's going, Mm -hmm. of overcoming the challenges that have existed and still exist in many ways, that we're still tearing down walls and barriers and, and really a whole system that we're tearing down. So it was all built around the nucleus of this idea of serving Aaron's idea for and her vision for the exhibit and upholding that, you know, making making Yellow House a place where everybody can come right. and feel welcome. It's not going to feel, you know, too bourgeois or upscale. You know, we wanted it to be inclusive and open to all people. And and there were people from all over Jacksonville there. I mean, it was it was a, a wonderful event, a transcendent event. So mm-hmm. it was a huge honor to be to be a, a part of that and to be given the task of honoring and respecting black culture in that way. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I was tremendously honored to be able to do that. Yeah. And, and, I'm, and I'm grateful that that everyone really resonated with that and, and really, you know, responded to that. So for four hours of music curation, yeah. that's a that's a, a heavy <laughs> task, man. I tell you, and weeks of weeks of putting the right music together. Right. The right balancing. Right. Exactly. Yeah. It's yeah. Very strategic on your part. Right. Um, so it's my understanding before you go um, mm-hmm. that you actually brought something ex- extremely exclusive to all of our taste test listeners. Mm. Um, 68 minutes worth of music. Yeah. So we're going to hear this podcast. If you're listening to this particular podcast, there will be a special link. Uh, actually, there'll be two links. So we'll have one called the Balance King and then whatever we're going to call it, whatever you're going to title it. That will be the second podcast link. So we're actually going to have two links go up tomorrow at the same time. Whoa. Yeah. One will be the interview. And I have goosebumps thinking about this. Never literally. done before. <laughs> Look at this. Goosebumps. Seriously. Never done before. One of the interview and one of this entire amazing set curated and, yeah. and molded specifically by the Balance King. Yeah. It's amazing. It's amazing. Um, several, several familiar tunes. Several. Mm. There's some fine tuning going on there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I, and I like that. So um, tell us for those of individuals who don't know how to follow you. Can you give us where we where to find you? What's coming up next? Like, just lay it out there for us. Well, you know, uh, there's a lot of things coming up. So where to start? <laughs> yeah. Where to find me? Uh, Instagram, Facebook, uh, The Balance King or The Balance King Reigns. Um, I believe you, you try one of those. Most of them, it's The Balance King Reigns. Um, for what's coming up, we have a tremendous amount of stuff. We are working on unreleased material uh, from Jean-Michel Basquiat's band, Grey. Mm. We mm. are working with King Brit on mm. some material. Oh, my God. Yeah, we're, yeah. We're, um, we're also working with a couple places up in New York City with you know more curation for, for some things. And that actually leads to... Um, I have some some shout outs and some acknowledgements I'd like to, yeah, to go through absolutely to uh, to acknowledge some some various uh, people and things. So real quick, uh, I'd like to shout out to King Brit and Burgundy Prince at Shamshire, Jean-Michel Basquiat, Nicholas Taylor, Michael Holman of Gray, visual artist Kristen Franklin Thompson, Stephanie Reyes and Motif, all black Muslim, Asian and spectrums of indigenous women across the planet, the Black Panther Party, the White Panther Party. All political prisoners incarcerated for liberation movements, LGBTQ communities, onto New York City, Grit and Honor. By the way, this shirt's from Grit and Honor in New York I City. I love oh, your shirt. That's dope. Yeah, they, they, yeah, so check them out. Sufala, all, all martial artists and dancers, diametric black reparations, the La Raza movement, Martine, Pena of Antibalis, Power Douglas, all mentally and physically disabled communities, the global homeless population, Syria, Aboriginal Australia, Yemen, Negritos of the Philippines, Mr. Lin, No Worries, Sisters Bar in Brooklyn, Erica Badu, Bryce Wilson, Palestine, and Globally Destitute and Forgotten People, The Magnificent Youth, My Beautiful Family, and My Mother, and all of our mothers, Mother Africa. Yes. That's exquisite, man. That's beautiful. Peace to you. Peace to you. Thanks and, so and much for taking time to to be here and 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 balance our brains. Um, absolutely, I, I feel I feel amazing right now. Yeah, blessings be upon you and yeah. and everyone listening to this. Yeah, thank you. Um, so for for those, we're gonna go ahead and close out. Um, but by all means, for those of you who are joining us on Facebook on Facebook Live, thank you for tuning in. Also, um, many many thanks to our our production assistant Autumn Lee. 
Otto. Thank you. She's she's amazing. And um, to Blue Francois, thank you again. Um, you're welcome. You're for, welcome. For, for week after week. Um, we have a really great week lined up, actually a, a really great month. I think October is exquisite because it's just, it's a peek into what's coming next. Um, I'm happy to announce next week we have the heart of Elaine. They're a, a, a band um, named after their mother. Speaking mm-hmm. of mothers, mm-hmm. the heart of Elaine, they have the heart of their mother. Um, and then we have on the 24th, the Swades, mm-hmm. another duo. And to round out October, Daryl Green, a.k.a. Universal Green. Yep. So um, you want to subscribe to the podcast if you're listening. And um, like I mentioned, this podcast, of course, is the you'll hear the entire interview along with a few selections in the podcast. But then there will be a separate link where you'll hear the Balance King in his entire set that he specifically yeah. curated. Yeah. Specifically and, and curated. As, for and as you life. listen to that, uh, I hope that it inspires you not only to balance out yourself, your life, but then to take that, that source of strength and to go out and fight and tear down all forms of white hegemonical patriarchy, oppression, and colonization across the world, both mm-hmm. internally and externally. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. And if you like what you heard, please follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, at Taste Test Radio. And uh, please visit us, tastetest.live, to find all our old episodes, hear more by subscribing to our podcast. We are on nearly every service out there to include um, also Apple Podcasts, uh, Stitcher. Tu- uh, you can also um, hear us on TuneIn, SoundCloud, Spotify, and YouTube. Yep. And guess what? what? Mixcloud. Mixcloud. Yeah. So oh, by, yeah. by the, by the end of the week, Mixcloud, um, yeah. all of the uh, podcasts will be on Mixcloud. Mm-hmm. Um, we are also on Overcast, and we're also on pocket cast as well so ah, like um, and pretty soon iHeartRadio they're in, we're in review with iHeartRadio oh that's so, major um, nice. this this particular podcast is being distributed worldwide um, yes. so all over the world thank you so much week after week to all of our listeners everybody that subscribes um, just how you can find the, the podcast if you're listening just search Taste Test Live subscribe to our channel you get notified the minute we release an episode um, and if you subscribe that's how we can tell you're listening and if you really love what you heard, what you heard then rate us on iTunes. Uh, give us a, give us a five five stars. We'd appreciate that. Um, thank you so much to the Balance King again for coming by. Thank you for having me. This podcast was produced, edited, and pre- recorded courtesy of yours truly. Oh, um, thank you again to Autumn Lee and also to our friends here at WJCT for always allowing us to use their studios to deliver greatness. That's our show this week. Do tune in next week for another episode of Taste Test Live.